and welcome to The Dough Show for Wednesday, September 19th, 2018. I'm Ferris Fair. And I'm Dabby Dextrous, and we have another really great episode for you today. This episode should have happened last week. What we're actually doing today is an episode for Wednesday, September 26th, 2018. <laughs> I'm still Ferris Fair. And I am Bambi Dextrous. <laughs> uh, we're actually going to cover both weeks this week. I was away last week, so uh, we couldn't get the show filmed in time before I left. And then by the time we got back, everything was busy for the weekend. And it was just like, well, do we do an episode on Saturday for when? Like, anyway. So we're just going to kind of combine and talk about the two weeks today. Uh, for all the videos that have been posted on Dragging Our Heels since we last did the show. Um, so we're going to rewind a little bit. Um, last week, Shangela right, right. was in town. <laughs> and on the Thursday night, Shangela put on an amazing show and uh, had opening acts Imani, Creme Brulee, Puddin, and our own Melinda Verga, who did another standard number. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, I actually wasn't at that show, but uh, the footage was absolutely amazing, and uh, yeah, you need to go check it out, because Shangela puts on a show, and the, and the local girl's definitely impressed. It was really good. Um, Shangela stuck around and put on another show on the Friday night at Evolution, and again, it was, it was basically the same show for her. She actually did another extra number on the, on the Friday oh, night that right she on. did on the Thursday, so we have that up on the channel as well. Um, but yeah, it was a really good show, and the opening acts was, they actually, they recreated Spice. Uh, if you remember the Sunday review, uh, that we had a couple of months ago, Spice, and they actually recreated the whole show. They did, uh, set one before her, uh, Shangela's first number, and then they came back after a break and did set two before S Shangela did her second number. So, uh, okay, it was a cool. very full night of drag, because basically we had a whole Sunday review. As well as a Rue Girl. As well as a Rue Girl. So, yeah, it was definitely a bit of a longer show, but yeah, it was definitely entertaining and a lot of fun. Um, so, shout out to Myra, Tequila, Carrie, Kenya, and Hellacious on yet another bang up performance from Spice. It's so good to see you girls out. And uh, not to pick favorites, but damn, Hellacious, you knocked it out of the park again. <laughs> You're so good at that character. Um, but yeah, uh, rumor. Shangela likes to say that Shangela always comes back. Well, if she comes back, who do you think she should come back with? Comment below. Do you think she should bring her mother, Alyssa? Do you think she should maybe bring the whole family, like Laganja and Gia and everything else? Or should she just bring back her cute little daughter that she just birthed, Bambi? Yeah, she should bring back Bambi. Bambi warning. <laughs> Trigger alert. Uh, but yeah, anyway, Shangela absolutely banged it out of the park, and she was just a joy to be around, and yeah, I, I have nothing, nothing but great things to say. She was a true professional, and uh, really and truly put on one of the best RuPaul girl shows I have seen. It was phenomenal. And I, and I wasn't a big Shangela ah! groupie, you no, know what I mean, no, like, right. at all. So, uh, so I actually don't <laughs> like her on the show, but, uh, <laughs> but, but what I, well, I don't like her edit apparently is what I'm learning. Uh, cause who I've met in person was great. Nice. Um, that was the Thursday and the Friday of Shangela. The Saturday was an absolutely insane night mm -hmm. of drag here yeah. in Edmonton. Um, and we did our best to get everywhere that we could. Uh, there was actually four shows that night and we ended up only making it to the two, but yeah. we did what we could. Um, two of us were working and, and one of us was unavailable and anyway, we got what we could. Um, what we did make it to was the first episode of the Dragging Youth series for the year, uh, yes. Dragging Back Through Time. Uh, and it was a fun show. Uh, Lay Away actually hosted the first half of the show because the actual host of the show was late. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and we didn't think she was coming. Um, but uh, ended up coming. So uh, Shuana Millionaire and her nephew Coda actually hosted Act Two. And 
it was a fun show. Uh, act two was definitely longer because uh, Shawana ended up doing all of her numbers in the second half and everything else. But yeah, it was a fun show. Um, special shout outs to some of my favorites. Babby performed. Uh, you know I love Babby. Uh, Jordan King is always just so good. Yes, like always. he's just. He's just so good, <laughs> and like so much, like for 14 years old, probably 15 at this point, but like there's just so much poise. Yeah. Um, Miss Cat always bangs it out, and mm -hmm. and uh, did yet another Evanescence song. Like she just, there's just such a connection with her with okay. the Evanescence stuff that it's nice to see. And then Coda, as I said, uh, co-hosted and also banged out a couple of numbers, and even did a little bit of drag. Was in a dress. So, uh, yeah, Coda's always such a fun performer. He's such a good dancer, and, and nice. it was nice. nice to have some more footage from him on the channel. Um, so yeah, that was that was the Dragging Youth series show. Um, you should definitely think about being a part of the Dragging, Dragging Halloween with Gigi on October 20th. Uh, check out Dragging Youth online to uh, find out more about that event. We also made it to the Prince and Princess campaign show that night. Yeah. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you actually filmed that show. Yes, I actually filmed that show. Uh, for the Imperial Sovereign Court of the Wild Rose, mm -hmm. um, announcing, or not announcing, but uh, it was basically a chance for the Prince and Princess candidates to perform. Yeah, it was a chance to get their names out there and show off who they were and to perform and, and yeah, raise awareness about their platforms, if you will. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, we had performances from a bunch of people, but uh, specifically uh, Angela Mercy, Chris DeBear, and Sister Mary Clarence, the three candidates. Yeah. Um, also, I just have to say, there was also some amazing numbers from uh, JBR, Duke, and Ivy. Like, mm -hmm. the, uh, it was JBR. It was JBR's first number back on the, back at Evolution in three months since he had his double knee surgery. And uh, and Duke was Duke in the motherfucking Duke. Carson was in the house. And Davina Die for. Yeah, well, it was such a good show. Yeah, it was such a good show. Um, so yeah, it was uh, it was a lot of fun. So uh, check out the footage for that. Uh, we unfortunately did not make it to Hail Mary or Fruit Loop. Mm -hmm. um, I hear both shows were great. I hear the Fruit Loop was absolutely phenomenal, and our her friend Melinda apparently normally she likes to perform at about a ten. Apparently she cranked it past eleven for that one. So I'm really sad we missed it, but it was. Uh, yeah, we're, we're definitely going to try to make it out to the next one. Yeah. Um, if you are watching this and you like to go to the Fruit Loop events and happen to have a camera and wouldn't mind filming for us, please contact us because we would love to have someone that could be there every month because honestly it's quite hard for us to add that in with what we already do. But we, we want to cover it. So if you're hearing that, please contact us. Um, Saturday Night at Evolution, we weren't quite done. Uh, they also had some pop-up performances that we have footage of, thanks to Poco Want This. I was actually already working in security at that point, but Poco Want This uh, managed to film that for us. So we have performances there from Ivy League, JBR, Plastica, and Andrew Ginny. So uh, definitely check those out too. They're all performing on the side stage while Plastica was all over the place. Over the place. <laughs> on the cage, on the bar. <laughs> on the... Uh, but yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, good, good. Sunday was another double header, uh, and Bambi actually filmed it, all of it, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Bambi went to uh, the brunch um, mm -hmm. for Godiva and Tequila, um, and She Want a Millionaire and Pheromone Kills were the they guests. They were the guests of uh, one. It was a good show? Yeah, it was a really good show. Um, Pheromone Kills absolutely killed it. <laughs> uh, Shiwana, surprise, it was a big surprise for me because I don't see a lot of Shiwana, mm -hmm. but wonderful show from her. And of course, she really tequila, turns out. tequila and Godiva obviously were amazing standard yeah. classics. So yeah, fantastic. You have to check out the videos for that. Uh, later on that evening, Bambi also filmed um, for the Sunday Review Royale 12. Yes. Hosted by Georgia Tropicana. Mm -hmm. Last night's winner, Georgia. Um, that was a good show. It was. Um, uh, the ones that really stood out for me were, were like the ones that, well the person that won was Mirage and that's the second time that we've had Mirage on stage singing live and both times have just been phenomenal so mm -hmm. I really hope we get to see more of Mirage and we will at the next Sunday Review Royale because she'll be hosting. Um, 
there was two people that tied for second, um, and again, both of both of their their main numbers to get them to that final round also were great. But their their extra one they did were great too. So uh, congratulations to uh, Robin Banks and and Cruella De Kill. And if I have your name spelled wrong, please let me know because I was just guessing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the other one that I have to do a shout out for there uh, was Shayla's on because she did just she tries every yes. month to do these and she always does so well and she just bangs it out and she never wins and she this was kind of a little wins. tribute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and yeah, so we actually had written the script for everything and we had done a pick of the week, so I think we might as well stick with that because we still do have a pick for that week. Yeah, we do. Uh, my pick for that week was Chandra, the mother of dragons. Uh, I just thought she just absolutely slayed her entire evening and, and uh, it was just a phenomenal number. And I actually had the Beyonce mix as my pick and then I just I went back and changed it because I was like, you know what? No. The number where she was actually selling herself and it was about her brand and everything else, like, she nailed it. Like, it was it was fantastic. As one should if they're selling themselves. Right? Well, exactly. And it's obvious that she does that number every night she performs. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, she was on City 163 of 178 or whatever the hell it was. Like, she's done it once or twice. But yeah, it was, it showed. Like, it was yeah. so good. So good. Uh, what about you? Do you remember your pick of the week from last week? My pick of the week from last week was Shella's on LaRue, yes, Not was. Myself Tonight. Yes, it was! Uh, and yeah, as I just said, it was such a good number. So uh, congratulations to Shayla Zahn on not winning, but you're in my five bucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're the winner to us. Yeah, we, we loved it. Um, but yeah, anyway, that is the week before. Um, we also filmed, of course, this past weekend. This past weekend on Friday night, uh, the Sexual and Gender Acceptance of Edmonton, SAGA, uh, mm -hmm. put on their fundraiser, and uh, it was called Drag Your Ass. Dollar signs. Dollar sign, dollar, dollar sign. Dollar signs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Drag Your Ass. Yeah, dollar yeah, sign, Dollar sign. Uh, hosted by Lady Tanner Flake. And it was a really fun show. Um, it was a combination of uh, some of our local favorites and some brand new people and some people we barely ever see. And yeah, nice. it was it was really kind of a nice little show. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it was well attended. It was good to see. Uh, nice. Lady Tenderflake turned it out as always. Uh, Lola performed. Gigi, Miss Indecisive, Bianca Lovegood. <laughs> Bianca did this amazing Nicki Minaj pound the alarm song. <laughs> Anyway, uh, it was blocked because of because of copyright, so you're not gonna unfortunately see it. So you had to be there to see it. But yeah, yeah it was absolutely hilarious. Um, Strawberry Marshmallow did a couple of fun songs, and yeah. uh, and then Sister Mary Clarence came out and announced that she allowed <laughs> Lady Tenderflake to pick her music, or maybe Lady Tenderflake said it. Anyway, uh, Lady Tenderflake got to pick Martin's music. So. Uh, did a huge mashup mix of all kinds of stuff. Never knew what was coming. As soon as the record scratch hit, she knew she had to change gears kind of thing because uh -oh. something else was coming. Wow. Uh, but yeah, it was a fun little song. So I actually, I, I would love to see Sister Mary do that right back to, to Lady Tenderflake. So I hope yeah. that actually happens. I actually thought that was cute. Uh, an evening of that might be too much, but I kind of... For, for queens that can really kind of do that, like I really, I really enjoy it. It was a really good number for Martin, nice. uh, even though he had no idea. <laughs> and how do you plan that, right? Yeah. You can't. You can't. Um, but yeah, and then uh, we had a couple of performances from uh, drag king Christian Gay, um, yes. who we had uh, once at a, um, ch a church lady show and once at a drag youth show. But I haven't seen him out really in a year or two. So. Yeah, we hadn't really seen him much, but he did. He's been out a couple of times. Yeah, so anyway, it was good to have him out again. Good uh, did a that. couple of fun hip-hop yeah. numbers kind of thing, and yeah, it was fun. Turned mm -hmm. out. Um, also, brand new drag king, who really was a lot of fun, uh, Neil Down. And yeah, it was good. Good look, uh, good energy. Um, yeah, like when you rode that chair across the stage, I died. <laughs> <laughs> die. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, yeah, I fold up those chairs. I know how easily those break. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, it was a fun little number. So uh, both of them were. So yeah, uh, congratulations to Neil and welcome to the channel. Uh, Sunday at hey. Evolution Wonder Lounge, there was a little show called Cherry Poppin' Five. Yes, Cherry Poppin'. Um, 
for the fifth year in a row. It was Cherry Popping Show uh, for the fall. Uh, this one was hosted by original Cherry Poppers, Christy Healy and Bamboo Dextra. Woo -woo! Yeah, so we had been working on this show for a few weeks now, mm -hmm. and I really think that it showed the efforts that we put in. Yeah, I think absolutely. that really showed and flew. Um, we had some cherry poppers, mm -hmm. like virgins on the show. Um, from the very original show, uh, Cherry Popping One, uh, three of the four originals were back, uh, Christy and Bambi, and returning to the stage for a Sunday review, Jean Bonnet Ramsmi, uh, which was great to see. Uh, missing was Lucy Lips, uh, but uh, I did talk to her, and she wished us well, and, and uh, yeah, uh, we're hoping she'll get, we'll get that bitch back on the stage Hi, one Lucy, of these days. But. if you're watching this. Um, but yeah, uh, year two, we actually missed out on, on anybody coming. Um, JL Bate has actually moved from the city, so it was a little bit difficult to have her back. Um, and uh, Sapphire wasn't able to make it either, so uh, no one from year two is representing. But year three, I think we kind of outdid ourselves. Uh, <laughs> Ferris, Ferris was there, uh, Minda Terrace was there, and Greg from Accounting was back. So yeah. uh, we actually had three representatives from year one and three representatives from year three. Uh, missing year two, and we actually look back at the history, yeah. and year, year four, four, there wasn't a single actual cherry pop. Yeah, they, there were new performers who had done one or two yeah. numbers, but there wasn't no a single actual, actual cherry debut. pop. So, uh, yeah, so while we were missing adding anybody from that show, I mean, it somewhat makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we more than made up for it this yeah. year, because we actually had four brand new debuts, which was amazing. Um, one of them um, is, is a burlesque performer here in the city, Tommy Rocket, one of our favorites. Yeah. Um, and then I just threw at her one day, I was just kind of like, you should be a drag king and you could be Pocket Rocket. Well, Pocket Rocket, <laughs> Pocket Rocket made her debut last night at the yeah, show. Yeah, and absolutely killed it. It was like, <laughs> so good. Just the, the crowd was just absolutely roaring, so congratulations, Pocket. <laughs> Uh, we also had three other brand new debuts. Um, Dwight Beats, uh, which was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, uh, actually an East Coast transplant and, and was very involved in the drag scene out there. Not performing, but knew a lot of people in it. Okay. Um, and actually was having a conversation with Bulldozer outside the bar at the end of the night. Was talking about all the queens that they knew about in common because of course Bulldozer knows everybody from across the country for through the court and everything else. So it was just... Uh, Dwight immediately felt at home because right. you know what I mean like common people instant you know yeah. what I mean was instantly more at home so uh, welcome Dwight uh, you really need to come out more and, and uh, yeah it was a lot of fun uh, mm -hmm. but yeah come come check us out we I promise we're not a bunch of shady bitches so really uh, well, <laughs> it, I it can happen but but, 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 but. I think it was shown how nice mm. the queens are when two of the nicest queens in the city were hosting Cherry Pop. It's true. Like Christy and I, we were pretty, uh, it's true. pretty even keeled. It's true. Pretty... It's true. Um, so yeah, uh, Dwight was a lot of fun. Um, the the surprise, uh, and maybe it wasn't a surprise, but like it was just there was obviously had brought some friends and and they. Daisy May Swallow. Ma uh, major friends. Yeah. Major friends. Turned before. it out, had a fun number, and like the crowd was eating it up. Made a mess on stage even after 12 warnings. But, you know, <laughs> whatever. Uh, but yeah, it was a fun number and... and uh, but brought in lots of people to make up. Yeah, them. right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, and then uh, Helia 3.14. Helia Pie? Helia Pie. Helia Pie. Uh, which is, you know, adorable. <laughs> And, and again, had a, had a great number, so uh, welcome to the Cherry Popping family. We are, we are very happy to welcome you. Yes. Um, also, we had a couple of other people that again were uh, uh, newbies. Newbies, but they weren't, this wasn't their debut. Um, so uh, both of them had only done one review real before. Um, so anyway, uh, we had Una Fey, um, Bobby Christina, and, uh, and Evelyn Knox. Yes. Also performed. So, and Eve I said this to her last night. I was just like, "You look just like Alaska." And she looks at me and goes, "Is that a compliment or a read?" Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, "Neither. Depends. It's just fact." <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, 
she was looking like Alaska. And as I said to her, she's like, it's it's not it's not she a does diss. Look like Alaska. It's not a diss. <laughs> I mean, she's one of the most popular, famous queens in the world from her look. So yeah. yeah, it's not a diss. But yeah, there was just it was just kind of like wow. And I and again, like I was just like, it's not like you're trying to look like Alaska. You just do. <laughs> True. But yeah, it was it was fun. So uh, yeah, congratulations, Evelyn, on a great number and. And, uh, yeah, welcome to the Evo family. <laughs> um, we have another weekend coming up. Strange. Um, where there's drag shows in it. Weird. Um, but yeah, on Saturday, the Imperial Sovereign Court of the Wild Rose puts on their annual in event, Investiture. Yes. Um, and this year it is where uh, the voting and crowning of prince and princess and all those kinds of things will happen. So, yeah. uh... You can, with your membership, you can go down and vote and all that kind of stuff. Sister Mary Clarence, Angelo Mercy, and Chris DeBear are the candidates. And um, it's a, always a fun event. It's their annual awards and performances from the ICWR. And yeah, it's going to be a really good time. Yeah. We will be there. Uh, speaking of being there, on Sunday, we will be there for Cat Marlowe's Thought About You. Um, I said this to you already online and stuff, but. <laughs> Best poster I've seen in years. Like, really. It was, it's a phenomenal poster. And I guess it's uh, someone by the name of Adam King that made Adam it. King. And I think Adam King is, uh, is, is like the best drag name ever. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that it's natural is just... Anyway. <laughs> you could be like Willem and not have to change your name. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's going to be a fun show on Sunday. Uh, Kat has an all-star cast put together. She's got Lil and Secretia and Goblin and Chelsea and Davina and Ivy and Dixon. and It's going to be a good show. <laughs> uh, I'm actually working uh, in security that night, so someone else, probably you, will be filming. Yeah, but, uh, I will film. It's going to be a really good show, so uh, make sure you come out. And she debuted them last night on our stage. She has a new t-shirt for sale at her show, so uh, yes. check them out online. And if you want one, uh, send her a message and tell her what size you want. I think they're 35 bucks or something. But yeah, they're really okay. cute. So uh, take a look at them, designed by Loris Mary Virgin. All right, pick of the week two. I'm going to pick Ferris Fair, uh, Bring Him Home. It was just the, yeah, you could hear a pin drop in that bar. Everyone was engaged listening to you sing. Probably just because I was loud and yelling at them. Um, uh, I'm picking Lady Tenderflake. Let's have a kiki. I thought it was fabulous. Um, I've actually seen her kind of, I think I've been seen her do that number before, but it was just, it was just so well done. Um, and yeah, good you always, you always tease me that I'm not a fan, but I, I really was of that number, so. Congrats! Um, you should definitely check out all of those videos on Dragging Our Heels. All these um, videos available now. Uh, no, yeah, they will be by the time this is up. <laughs> yeah. We're posting this in the future. We're in the future right now! <laughs> anyway. As usual, thank you so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, do all those things. Bye! Bye.